Okay, this sermon is entitled, Man Cannot Live By Sermons Alone. I'd like to open up with prayer, and then with a few verses, all right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners, I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 99 reads, The Lord reigneth, let the people tremble. He sitteth between the cherubims, let the earth be removed, or be moved. The Lord is great in Zion, and he is high above all the people. Let them praise thy great and terrible name, for it is holy. Now turn over to Matthew chapter 4. In Matthew chapter 4, Jesus Christ is comparing physical bread with God's word and showing us that there's, you know, a, a, greater, need, a greater need for God's word than there is for, for physical bread. It reads in verse 1, Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil, and when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Now Jesus is showing the importance of getting into God's word. God's word is a form of spiritual alimentation or uh, spiritual sustenance. And just as much as we need physical bread or you know, literal, you know, comestible, you know, food items, we need God's word as well. Now, the reason why I'm preaching this is because I understand that sermons can be conducive in spiritual growth in that they're supposed to be chock-a-block with God's word, and you can get a lot of God's word as you listen to sermons, but the reason why we need to read the Bible on our own is because of the deception out there. I've talked to people before, and they, this one person in particular, they were off on salvation, and they told me that they don't read the Bible, ever. I said, well, you need to get into the Word. And what they said was, well, I do listen to sermons online. And then they said it, they, were, they were listening to Paul Washer, stupid, unsaved Paul Washer, false prophet. And, and then I put the connection together as to why this person was mixed up. They're listening to a bunch of garbage. And that's why it behooves us to start reading the Bible on our own so that the Holy Spirit can speak to us directly and, and reveal to what, what God's Word is actually saying. Now turn over to 1 Peter chapter 2. Like I said, I'm not down on sermons, or I, I, mean, I wouldn't even be putting this sermon up if, if that were the case. I just think we should, you know, we should do both. Listen to sermons and then read the Bible as well in a, in a secluded, you know, solitudinous you know, manner. Now let's take a look at these verses here. It reads in verse 2, or actually let's start off with verse 1. 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 1, and it reads. It says, Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile, and hypocrisies, and envies, and all evil speakings, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby, if so, be ye, be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. So what the Bible's telling us here is that we are supposed to desire God's word. We are supposed to find it palatable. And then as we desire it, we're supposed to, you know, consume it. And as a result of this, we start to understand God's grace, you know, better. I'll turn over to second uh, Peter chapter 3. 2 Peter chapter 3, look at verse 17. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye, ye know these things before, beware lest ye also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness, but grow in grace, and in the knowledge of our Lord and, and Savior Jesus Christ, to him be glory both now and forever. Amen. The Bible tells us to grow in grace. Okay, whenever we, we hear the word grow, we think of, you know, nutrition. We think of food. We think of the essentials of life. And for the spiritual life, we need God. The point is that we need God's word to grow, and we can grow faster if we just get into the Bible and start reading it, on, you know, on our own, as well as listening to sermons along, along the side. So that's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners, I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.